Okay, we're going to add in now the middle passive imperatives and infinitives of omega verbs. So you'll remember the present imperative active. Take the stem from the first principal part, and then you add the imperative active personal endings, e and eta, ete and anton. And remember, there is no first person imperative. And we're going to translate those in second person, be teaching, in third person singular, and third person plural, let him, her, it, them, be teaching. Remember, the present imperative active always has imperfective aspect. We're going to learn another tense of the imperative later on that's going to have um, heuristic aspect. So there's also a present imperative middle passive. And just like with the in present indicative, the same forms are either middle or passive, depending on context. So again, there is no first person. You take the stem from the first principal part, and you add the present imperative middle passive personal endings, u, esto, este, eston. Okay? So, pai deu, be teaching for your own sake. Um, in the third person, let him, her, it, them be teaching for his, her, it's their own sake. Yeah, uh, let him be teaching for his own sake. If you think it's middle, again, with imperfective aspect. If you think it's passive, in the second person, be being taught. In the third person, let him, her, it, them be being taught. Okay, passive, again, with imperfective aspect. Now, we already knew the present infinitive active stem from the first principal part and the ending ain, paideoain, to be teaching, again, always with imperfective aspect. The present infinitive middle passive, again, take the stem from the first principal part and add the ending estai. And it means to be teaching for one's own sake if it's middle, if it's passive, to be being taught. Again, context will tell you whether the form is being middle or being passive. We also know a future indicative active, which takes the second principal part, the stem from the second principal part, and adds the same exact ending as the present infinitive active, aim. And remember, the future infinitive can have heuristic or imperfective aspect. So in the active, to be going to teach or to be going to be teaching, okay? Heuristic aspect, imperfective aspect. The future infinitive middle, and it's only middle, not passive. Take that same stem from the second principal part add the same ending that we used for the present infinitive middle passive, and you get paideus, paideus by to be going to teach for one's own sake, to be going to be teaching for one's own sake, right? Heuristic aspect, imperfective aspect. And that's it, because remember, there are no imperfect imperatives or infinitives.